the hell don't crawl and die up in here? Oh no, baby. Roland Marie forgot to get this problem situated here. You just wait and see. I'll be right back, baby. What's going on today, baby? I want to thank everybody for coming back to the channel. And uh, I want to ask y'all to, to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. And today is going to be somewhat of an educational video. A lot of you guys may know this, a lot of you may not. New drivers, um, or whatever. And there's a couple videos about it, but who cares? It's my channel, I do what I want. All right, um, over here today, what we're going to do is um, have you ever had a trailer? You park it, you come back. And it's an odor in it. Even if you get it washed out, sometimes you may have an odor. Maybe there's something behind your walls that you don't know about. Something under your floors, possibly. Or maybe it could just be, you know, snail water or something you hauled before and um, you didn't get it washed out and you need to get it washed out. Well, if that don't work, you get to a shipper. You notice you still have a smell. You don't want to back into the door with a smell. There's two things you can use, or two things I use, that I find work every time. It don't matter if you use one, you use the other, or you use a combination of both. Just regular ground black pepper, that's it. Regular ground black pepper. I mean, go spend a lot of money on, hell, you can get more corn if you home, but you'll get damn food or do something like that. And uh, right here, coffee. You ever been into the, um, a perfume store in the mall and at an outlet or, you know, maybe you're just traveling and shopping and you walk into one, they have the coffee grinds, the coffee beans in the can, you can smell to kind of reset your senses. Well, that's exactly what it does. Well, show you guys how to do it. How I do it is um, usually you have the, on the can, you have the sprinkle side or you have the side that has the hole. Well, I just use the sprinkle side for mine. And I walk down. I mean, some people say you only have to put it on like the back end, but me, I like to put it at least down here to these vents down here. Because this is where the air gets sucked in and it runs back through the evaporator and it comes back through the top part up here and it runs down, you know, down your trailer right there through those chutes. So what I do is I like to start here, and um, you just, I mean, you just kind of scatter it. Just kind of, just walk back with it, right? That's all you have to do. You don't have to put a bunch down. I mean, you ain't trying to be perfect here. You just, you know, kind of do this. I mean, my trailer don't need this right at the moment, but for demonstration purposes, I'm doing this for you guys. Um, you know, you just kind of, Run this down there. All right. If you got somebody at your house that don't want to wash their behind, you go in their room and you sprinkle pepper all over the room and put red pepper on their pillow, that's going to make them start sneezing and hopefully they'll get up and go wash their behind. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but it sounds good. All right. And um, right here. Y'all know uh, I love me some coffee, man. Mm, I love the smell of coffee. Uh, so what I do with my coffee, it's the same thing. I, I go down here. I'm not gonna do it because I just can't. Now you can smell the pepper, but it's not enough to make you start sneezing or nothing. It's weird because usually, you know, you smell pepper, you go, Shh, you start sneezing. But here, no, they don't do that. I'm thinking about doing a coffee series and trying different coffees and seeing which one I like best, and um, have you guys come in and see, if, uh, you know, recommend different brands. Yeah. What I usually do is I just. I get a little bit of coffee in a spoon, and when I go down, I just kind of feather it out. Just kind of feather it out. That's it. Just feather it out. Just do it like that. That's it. And there's also some other tricks. You can take the breeze, you can spray down the walls, wipe the walls down, and it'll give it that good fresh smell. Um, Possibly pine salt if you want, but I don't like using chemicals inside of my trailer. Um, and I haul a lot of raw meats, a lot of chicken, beef, pork, and, uh, and stuff like that. So I don't want any kind of cross contamination. Another tip you can do if you have a load that you have to, um, they have to run water on it to cool it down and it's dripping and running, or you have a frozen load, you have ice melting and dropping everywhere. 
when you park your trailer, open your door. If you get to a truck stop or somewhere safe where you're going to be for a while, you open your doors and let some hot air in to melt all that ice. And it also, um, it'll help you eliminate odors. It'll Yo, once you um, open your doors, go ahead and drop your airbags, man. And, um, and that allow the water to drain to your drain holes in the back like this. You have your, your drain holes. Depending on the trailer, uh, right there. Depending on the trailer, you might have them in the rear and the front, or you might have them just in the rear. Um, I've had one when it was in the rear and the front, but this one, the one I have here, is only in the rear. So um, you can also do that too, man, and that'll help um, get that water out. You have to take the, the drain plugs out anyway for the water to drain. But you do that, and it'll help eliminate all the odors, man. And, all that, that that smell out of here you don't want all that stuff in your trailer when you're trying to haul product produce meats and all that man so that's just a quick tip you thought i was gonna forget you already know the slogan baby if you ain't rolling with reefer you ain't rolling right let's get it